What's going on, everybody? Just got back in from the JJ All Star Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Picked up a good bit. Um, it's it's actually higher. Let me think here. My hands here. That's the top. So you're looking another two and a half fingers high. So really good show. Picked up some crazy stuff. It's in no particular order. Well, actually, it is kind of, but it was by how I uh, was putting it in the one touches and that. So let's go ahead and take a look. It was a good show overall. Um, let me just start off that there. Found some unique items, which I was glad that they gave me a decent deal on up there. And one, two, three, only four dealers I bought from. Four total dealers. So up first, I believe this is this year's Topps Chrome Platinum Lubob Auto. Lubob is out of five. Nope, I take it back. 2022s. So 2022 Topps Chrome. Don't know what you call it, but uh, pattern. It's out of five. I'll have to look it up. Pretty cool. That one is the only card I'm thinking of sending off to the grading land. So let me put that to my grading stack so I don't knock stuff over here. All right, like I said, it's no particular sport or nothing like that. It's just how I end up one touching stuff. Rastine Paul Goldschmidt Auto. I believe this was out of, yep, out of 50. Good old Goldie. You will see a lot more baseball today. Wildcat. It just good, just that way. People are pricey on football right now. The baseball was pretty cheap. Acuna, second year. This would be, I believe, 19. Bowman Platinum Patch Auto or Jersey Auto out of 50. This was really cool. Prime Cuts from 2012. Randy Johnson. Got a little pinstripe in there with a the jersey. I liked these cards back in the day. He had a couple other ones, but I just didn't want to keep spending more and more money today. So I threw this in a deal. Tony Gwynn Auto number one today. That's got a little edge damage right there. But Tony Gwynn you don't see a whole lot of. So figured... Grab them when I can. Reggie Jackson, Prime Cuts. This is from 2005 Auto. Three jersey action onto it. Let me get a little bit better of a focus so you guys can see and appreciate it. These are really cool cards back in the day. I don't know if this was numbered. Oh, this is numbered. Out of five. Three, I think I said three out of five. Yeah, three out of five on the Reggie Jackson. Up next, we're going to have a pair of Ernie Banks autos. The first one here, upper deck. This was out of 150. Memorable signatures. Kind of like their old-fashioned cut autos in a way, I guess you could say. Not numbered. Oh, wait, that was numbered out of 150. My bad. I was looking at the top card, too. And then we got Don Russ Elite Series Ernie Banks on card. This has the indention into it that they stamped. Trademarks, and it's numbered out of 180. Weird numbering on Ernie. 180. Pretty cool card, though. Moving on with more baseball. I know, I know. We're getting to football. Don't worry. I promise. Cal Ripken Jr. Notice this. It's out of... If I get to shine here right. It's actually serial numbered out of five. There we go. Out of five auto. Road to the Hall. This is an upper deck auto. I gotta look it up because I'm really not too sure now the price on to it because I didn't catch that. A uh, little prism. Bob Lilly. Green, uh, whatever you call it anymore. Scope, green scope. I had to think about it, auto. You don't see a whole lot of Lily stuff. Little Minka Fitzpatrick, Aurora out of Obsidian. Dirt cheap auto as well. We got Christian Polisic auto for Mosaic. Almo, Tops Chrome Blue. Soccer. This was pretty cool, too. The uh, Blue Cracked Ice Sensational Signatures, Dallas Clark. Pick that up. Moving in, back to baseball. Transcended out of 20, Vladdy Jr. I think these are like 140-ish. Tops Tribute out of 50 with the stamp of approval, Auto. I don't know if that's what they're called or not still. I just know those used to be the stamp of approvals back in the day. Let's see what it's called. 
Anything in the back? Nope. But pretty cool out of 50, Vladdy Jr. Tatis, tribute rookie out of 199. Man, has everybody forgot about Tatis? I haven't heard much of him, but I picked it up because it was really cheap. Let me know in the comments, man. Baseball people, what's up with Tatis? This here, Ring of Honor, still sealed by Panini. Holy cow, Leaf Limited. Uh, I forget the year. Oh, 2020. Leaf Limited gem Montana out of 10. Still sealed by Panini. It will not gem. I can tell you that now. There's whiting on the bottom of it. This was really unique. Tony Romo Flawless Star Swatch. People love these star swatches. It's numbered out of 10. There we go. Get a little bit better picture here for Wildcat. I know he's going to like this card. Three cards left, guys. Up next, that's on the case, but it's a J.K. Dobbins uh, rookie helmet. I just like it because of the beak. Beak to the Raven. My two favorites, though, of the show. Out of 199. Sweet Spot Signatures, Tony Gwynn Auto. If I can get it to where the lights kind of get onto this. Just so you can appreciate that. That is really cool. And the other one? Uh, Sandy Koufax, Sweet Spot Auto. Not numbered on the Koufax. Pretty cool piece. I mean, these aren't going to gem mint from back in the day. They just weren't handled very well. Um, same with how we had them packed back in the day and all that stuff. But that was it. Card show stuff. Let me know what you think. I know it was a lot of baseball, but when you... Oh, I forgot one card. One more baseball. I'd throw us a deal just to close it out, but... Uh, 2013 Museum Collection, Ken Griffey Jr. Signature Swatch, Triple Relic Auto, PSA 8. All white across the board, but Griffey, Mariners Uniform, numbered out of 50. I knew there was another card. I thought I missed something. But I know a lot of baseball I bought. And people always ask me, well, why are you buying baseball now? It makes sense. There's better deals right now on baseball than I can get football. Basketball is kind of getting to the point where it's coming basketball season. I guess that's the best way I could say it. And baseball is drawing down. Playoffs are going to be coming up here very shortly. And it's just going to be cheap until later on. All right, guys. Let me know what you all think. Talk to you next one. See ya.